All right. <laughs> Ash, congratulations. I want to start with the, the crowd, because this time last year at this tournament, we were in the middle of a five-day lockdown. We had no atmosphere whatsoever. What was it like for you tonight playing in front of this magnificent crowd? A lot more fun. A lot more fun. <laughs> I mean, last year, I mean, the last two years has been extraordinarily tough for a lot of people all around the world. And for us as tennis players, we were able to continue playing, and that was an absolute bonus. But to have the crowd here, it, it brings a life to the sport. It brings the enjoyment. And for me, it's a lot more fun playing at home when I've got to, got to share it with everyone else. This is now the second time that you've shared the court with Amanda, both of them at majors. It was at Roland Garros back in 2019 in the semifinals. You won that one. It wasn't easy then. You won this one. It wasn't easy now. Uh, what was the difference? How did you do it tonight? Yeah, she's an incredible athlete. She's an incredible competitor. One of her best attributes is that she's able to turn up point after point after point. And I think uh, it's just nice to see her back playing her best tennis. She's a champion. She, she's going to be in a lot of or deep stages of a lot of majors in her future, that's for sure. But I enjoy sharing the court with her. I enjoy testing myself against her. She's got an exceptional game that puts you under the pump right from the get-go. So it was nice to be able to hold firm tonight and, and bring, the, bring the points back into my patterns more regularly and, and the big ones when it mattered most. Is it a good omen? You beat her there, you went on to win your first major. Is that a good omen to possibly winning your first Australian? We will wait and see, hey? <laughs> All right. Well, one thing that we do know for sure, you're the number one Aussie, you're the number one player in the world, and you wear it so well, you're so comfortable with it. Was it always easy from when you got to number one from the first day? Did it feel normal and natural, or did it take some time to adjust to it? I think the most important thing is I just tried to be me. I just continued to be me, and that's, that's all I can do. Um, that's, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's who I am, and that's, that's who I want to be. It's working well, and you're going to continue to do the work. In a couple of days' time, you're going to face another American, Jessie Pakula. She played great today, taking out Sakari. That's a big win for her. She, that, that's going to be a challenge. What are you looking forward to in that match? What challenges will she present to your game? Absolutely. Jess was on fire today. She was able to really control the baseline. She, she was able to put Maria under the pump, um, take balls line, stay on top and stay, stay in the centre of the court and control. And I think she did a really good job of, of fighting out some tough games. So it's going to be another awesome matchup. I'm not sure if I've played her before, but we've definitely practiced together before. So no secrets. Come out here, compete and enjoy it. You beat her in Roland Garros as well en route to that title. Okay. So you're one and out. Um, congratulations, Ash. And Australia, would you like to see her play in a couple days' time? I think so.